hello guys hello everybody i am with my friend here you can call him a friend muhammad muhammad hi there. hi and we're gonna do a quick tour of cape town south africa so watch the video like and share Amongst the top 10, one of uh, and on third place, one of, my, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Wow! Yeah. Third place? Yes. So if Cape Town was number three. Yeah. Most beautiful Paris place. Paris is in number one. Oh, well, of course, Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Paris is number but, one, okay. Yeah, but mo most of the people telling me that the Paris is not that. Yeah, okay, I haven't seen Paris, so I can't say. Twelve noon. Okay. They shoot a cannon, and uh, that is an old tradition. It's to to just to announce the, the coming of the afternoon. Mm. It's an old tradition of the English when they rule here. So every at, at every time, what day every day every day every at twelve day at, at twelve yeah. They shoot a cannon. Yeah. Just to announce the afternoon. Yeah, that's correct. Wow, what's a tradition? Okay. This is strange street. Strange street. Strange yeah, we're coming actually, we, we actually in, in the CBD, in okay. the business center of town. Oh, okay. Is it convenient? Is it okay? Yeah, it's actually um, all trains have been stopped Why? due to the fact that um, the, the, the metro, so uh, okay. metro rail, okay. they, had a, they, had a, they had a problem with the, with the commuters. Oh. Yeah. And they stopped it? They stopped it with the regarding because they put up they put up the price all the time. Oh. And the community, the, the commuters, they did not like that. And one, uh, some of them set the, the one of the trains alight, so they stopped it. Everybody moves with yeah. that. <laughs> so now these guys, the buses and the taxis, are the are the means of transportation at Melbourne. Okay. Wow. This is a. You yeah. see that beautiful mountain up there? It's so this, yeah. This building you see on the left hand side here? Oh, yes. This is uh, the um, castle, Cape, Cape Castle. Okay. It was built in the early 1600s. Hmm. Yeah. In this castle? Yeah. Okay. This was built by the uh, by the Dutch at the time. So Cape Town. The Dutch ruled here first. Oh, the Dutch was first. Yeah. And who was next? Then became the English after the Dutch. Okay, that's why we have a lot of Dutch names. Yes, of city. That's correct. Okay. Uh, that was a ruling. So he threw everybody out of their homes. Mm. Yeah. And threw the, the bulldoze the houses down to the ground. Wow. Yeah. And the, the, the people that lived in District 6 at the time was the Muslim people, the Indians, and the Khalids. How did the Muslim uh, come here? The Muslim? Uh, um, when, once you from go, India? No. The Muslims here uh, the, from Malaysia. Uh, uh, Malaysia, Java, Java, and uh, what's the other one? That, that area there. Malaysia, Java, and Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh, yeah. okay. And it's not far yeah. from South Africa. Uh, well, it is. It is far because uh, those places are close to China. Okay. Table Mountain, Devil's Peak, 
the one with the clouds there, uh -huh. Devil Speak, Lion's Head, and Signal Hill. Four mountains. Four. Look how this mountain is so beautiful. This is uh, these buildings are now here two years. Two years. But the mosque is here quite more than sixty years. Wow, old. that's a beautiful mosque. Yeah. So there's a lot you, of Muslims you see living all, here. Yeah. But all of the the inhabitants are Muslim. Wow. Yeah. All of this was where people used to stay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And they were kicked out. Yes, they were kicked out of their homes. By Africans. Yeah, by the, uh, the, the African, what we call the boer. Oh. Afrikaner. Yeah, we call him Afrikaner. In, in, in our language in Senegal, boer means a king. No, no. <laughs> yeah, the boer is, 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 at the time, the boer was the Afrikaner, the white person. Oh. Between the relationship between the Muslim and the other community here. Oh no, we, we all live in, in, in harmony with one another. Oh there's wow. No, there's no fighting or no arguments. So Muslims and other community lives in, in the harmony? Yes. In Cape Town? Muslim, we have 25% of the population of Cape Town are Muslim. 25? Yes. 25%. The others are the, the Christian, which is the majority. Mm -hmm. Then you have the Jewish faith. Okay. And you have uh, the uh, what's his name, Hindus, and the Tamils. Okay. Broke up. He's Malay, Muslim. And within the area of Cape uh, of Broke up. In the radius of, of one kilometer of each other is 11 massages, 11 mosques. <laughs> Why so many mosques? Hey? That's yeah, a lot. Look, because the, 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 at the time, the, the, the area started, um, how can I say, uh, developing. Mm -hmm. Then they erected the mosque there for, for, for the uh, convenience. Okay. Because to be close to the mosque within walking distance. Oh, yeah, yeah. They want to be within walking distance. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes, well, when I hear many mosques, I hear like a divided community. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> okay, if it's, if it's just to be close to the Jum'ah, then yeah. that's good. Now you see that mountain over there? Huh? That is Signal Hill. of town, sea point, um, Camps Bay, Tampur's Kloof, where we're gonna go now after we visit Boca. We go to, to uh, what's his name? Tampur's Kloof, we're gonna go to the mountains. Those are very expensive areas. Okay. So it's just like everywhere in the world. If you want to live in the center or in the city, yeah. And you have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, this year is the Cape Gardens. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This is the entrance to the gardens. Yeah, beautiful. And this church is it's also one of the oldest buildings here in town. This is the church that uh, Desmond Tutu preaches in. He preaches here every day or yeah, every, now? Every, every, every Sunday. He still preaches here? No, he, he don't anymore oh. because he's, he's sick. He's oh, Ill. he's ill. Yeah.
they that build the city. Yeah, they started with the with the, with the CBD in the bottom. Uh -huh. They started the that we once we come back on the way back. I'll show you the the the, the foreshore part. We we the seas where the sea came right up to and we from there from that point where the where I showed you the, the uh, train station yes from there right down to where the sea is now it was all sea water before but mm. now yeah the, the Dutch reclaimed it so much that they pushed the sea back Okay. Woke up, up museum. All right, guys, we are here uh, on the African Dream Channel with Mohammed, our guide, and he's gonna tell us why uh, this building has different colors. Yeah, the reason for all the different colors here. Is the, in the early 1600s, this is the area where the Dutch brought the slaves. And this is where they lived for, for many years. And all in one day in a year, they had freedom. And that was a New Year's Day. And on New Year's Day, they would dress up all different colors and having a, a party from, for, of themselves. Dancing and music and everything. If this is the reason in commemoration of the slaves. This is the reason why they painted the houses to all the different colors. So we are in Tambuskloof. Tambuskloof is the area where in the early 60s uh -huh. was only whites only. Here? Yeah. No Africans, no Indians, no Colors, no Malays could live here. Even if you can't walk here, if you did walk here, you have to give way for, for the for the white people that come to come past, and then you can carry on. Wow. Yeah. The 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 domestic workers that used to work for these people here, they had a green card, <laughs> and after after 6 p.m. in the evening, when they were found on the road. They pay a fine, if they cannot afford the fine, a three month imprisonment. So three months in jail if you don't have your green card after 6 p.m. Yes. walking in the streets. Yes. Wow, a green card, literally. It's crazy. A lot of things have changed. Yes. What's the name? Table? Table Mountain. Table Mountain. For the name Table Mountain? Yes. The mountain is very flat on top. Oh, that's a flat mountain on the top. Yeah. That's why they call it Table Mountain. And in summer, we have clear skies.
fight. Eighty percent of our body is water. Oh yeah. Inside the cloud. Yeah. <laughs> In the mist. Islam here to Cape Town, to, to South wow. Africa. Wow. Yeah. Now, on the other side is Tuanguru. He's buried. Tuanguru was, was imprisoned here at the time of the slaves for 12 years. Wow. And within, within the 12 years he was imprisoned, he wrote the Quran out of memory. The very first Quran wow. here in South Africa. Out of his memory. Yeah, out of memory. And then we have out in uh, Fori, we have Tuang Yusuf from Makassar. Mm -hmm. He came here, he's from Malaysia, Makassar, Malaysia. And he came here also in the early 1600s. And they were all, the slaves were all spread out. And that is where he and his and his family members passed away and he's buried in, in Fori. Oh. Then we have one year on Camus Bay as well, to Nuru Mubin. So it's not a place to pray. It's just and, to... No, no. We just you go there. These are the the, the, the people when we go for Hajj. Then we come and greet them all before okay. leaving. Oh, I see. Just out of respect. I see. Yeah. It's not that we believe in.